Meantime, Honda is postponing the launch of a mini vehicle model in Japan because of a shortage of necessary parts from Thailand. Well, for more on this, Santi Tarn, Santi Ratai, a research analyst at Credit Suisse, joins us now from here on in. We're going to call you Santi, <laughs> just to make it easier. Thank you for joining us today. Um, first of all, how bad is the situation in Thailand right now from a GDP perspective? How much damage are you expecting mm. to the economy? Of course, this is still ongoing development. It's getting worse as we speak. But um, we are looking at a number around one to one and a half uh, percentage point cut in GDP. If you're putting this with other offsetting factors, we just recently cut our GDP growth forecast for this year from 3.5 to 2.7. Right. Um, oh, what about when you layer on the issues mm. in the Eurozone as well? Um, mm. Does the deal last night make any difference for the outlook in Thailand? Not so much yet. I mean, you know, that's still ongoing uncertainty about and then the risk is still ongoing. I think we already factor in some positive news from the U.S., which, you know, make the whole GDP cut less than one percentage point. But still, I think the situation in Q4 will be quite worrying. Sante, hi, it's Bernie in Hong Kong here. I, I'm, I'm, I'm concerned not about the immediate impact or, you know, the immediate recovery, but, I mean, Thailand is quite, has been quite a magnet for investment. I mean, you look at the, the, the Japanese automakers and over the years, the, the sheer level of investment that they've made in the country. I mean, you know, when you have almost the, you know, the bulk of the country underwater like this, I'm concerned that longer term that they diversify, not just the Japanese, but the other Pan-Asian companies and say, you know, let's spread our risk uh, a little bit. You know, we need to do risk, a little more risk management here. And, you know, based on what we saw in Thailand, you know, we can't have this percentage of investment there. I'm more concerned about the knock-on effects in that department. Are you? Yes, very much so. I think, you know, this is a wake-up call for a lot of investors to think about investing in Thailand. But I think ultimately the critical factor will be how the government reacts to the whole thing. I think the government has, you know, three tasks they have to deliver. First is the damage control. Um, second is the rehabilitation. That's the next phase. And the last one is uh, crisis prevention in the future. I think they, did, they haven't done a, such a great job in the first one, which means they have to do even better in the second one and the third one to reassure that next time Thailand will be able to cope better and communicate better with uh, investors as well as people about how bad the flood will be and how they should cope. Santi, I'm worried about the flood's impact on rice production. Mm -hmm. What does that do and what does it do to inflation? Yes, I think, you know, there's definitely upside risk to rice price now um, because Thailand, uh, the current estimate is about 5 million to 6 million tons are being damaged. That's about 17% of the total um, produced in a year. Mm -hmm. So, and it's, it's still ongoing, so people don't know how bad this will be. But um, the, the one, one piece of good news is that the rice price will be determined also by the global supply demand fundamentals. And this year we have India stepping back into the market, okay. providing but, but a lot Thailand of exports. Is the biggest exporter Thailand of rice is the biggest, in the world, right? Yes, definitely. So, I mean, you have to see the final number. Thailand itself also have quite a good stock situation as well. Inventory is about five, six million tons. So we have to see the final numbers, w whether this really export, um, affects the export in a significant way. Santi, this, uh, this test to the very young administration of uh, Kun Ying, mm. uh, Ying Luk, I mean, it, it, it happened so quickly into her, her, her administration. I mean, she's a political novice, untested, um, you know, speaking, you know, on television, I mean, her emotions have have shown for now obvious do you get the sense that the country has rallied behind her the political factions have rallied behind her or is somebody looking for holes in the armor there uh, are we going to have a are we going to have basically a, a political anarchy to have to deal with on top of all this it's difficult to say at this point, I think, but, you know, definitely one thing is that it has checked the confidence in the government. I think, you know, that's back to the point we talked about earlier, that this could be one of the factors that affects the recovery next year. I think a lot of people take it, tend to be quite complacent, thinking this is only the supply issue and next year the growth will bounce back. But if the sentiment of people is not back, if the confidence in the, uh, the government is being shaken, then this can really affect the whole investment and consumption process. Santi, thank you so much for joining us, okay? Uh, and uh, if, if, uh, for your friends and relatives in, uh, in Bangkok and the surrounding areas, uh, we wish you obviously the best of luck on our hearts and prayers and thoughts are with you. Santi Tan Sati Ratai from uh, CS. Uh,